My son Matthew did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6, 1998, my son tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son, my hero, lost. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died. 50 days before his 22nd birthday. I just, I keep remembering the same thing that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself. But he wasn't alone. There were his lifelong friends with him friends that he had grown up with. First, he had the beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we used to see through a telescope. Then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of pine trees from the snowy range. He heard the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel better knowing that he wasn't alone. Max beating, hospitalization, and funeral. Focus worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. I miss my son, but I'm proud to be able to say that he is my son. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death of I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is a time to begin the healing process, to show mercy on someone who refused to show any mercy. Mr. McKinney, I'm going to grant you life. As hard as it is for me to do so, because of Matthew, every time you celebrate Christmas, a birthday, the 4th of July, remember that Matt isn't. Every time you wake up in your prison cell, remember that you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You robbed me of something very precious. And I will never forgive you for that. Mr. McKinney, I give you life in the memory of one who no longer lives. May you live a long life. And may you thank Matthew every day for it. A hand above the water An angel reaching for the sky Is it raining in heaven? Do you want us to cry? Everywhere.
every lonely avenue. No one could reach them. No one but you. One by one, only the good die young. They're only flying to clubs. Another tricky situation I get you drowned in, in the blues And I find myself thinking Well, what would you do? Yes, it was such an operation No.